Welcome to Story Time to Go. I'm Andrea, and today we are at a bakery, Calico Cupboard in Mount Vernon, and we have a, the perfect book to go with this place, which is called There Are No Bears in This Bakery. I hope there are not. <laughs> We're gonna find out, let's see. Oh wow, that looks a lot like the case. That's right behind me, yum. There are no bears in Little Bear Bakery. I'm the whiskers of this neighborhood. And if it flutters, scurries, or scampers here, I know about it. The name is Muffin, and this is my tale. There are no bears in this bakery. Each night, the moon rises, the bread rises, and I rise. The air cools and the sounds get interesting. That's when the night shift begins. Scratch, scratch, squeak is the mouse behind the bakery. Do you see him? Clang, crash, crunch, crunch is the raccoons in the dumpster. Snip, snip, flap, flap, ah, is the bats visiting the barber shop. I thought I knew all the night sounds until last night. Last night, after the sun rolled off the edge of the sky, a mysterious new sound rumbled over the windowsill. I stepped out to investigate. The air was cool and wet like a dog's nose. The alley was empty. No mouse, no raccoon, not even a bat. The bakery's back window was open like a crooked smile. Grrr. I slipped into the darkness like icing melting down a hot cake. Inside, I listened for clues. Maybe it was a mouse. Mice love sprinkles. Grrr. And that's when I saw it. It was the biggest mouse I had ever seen. Grrr. Actually, it was the smallest bear I had ever seen. I was surprised. The bear was surprised. My tail was the most surprised. Grrr, rumbled from the bear's belly. Up close, the bear smelled like old socks, cinnamon, and adventure. The problem was clear, and I was on the case. The rumbling grew softer and softer until, uh, uh, for a moment, everything was quiet, too quiet. I heard snuffling sounds behind me. I had a tail. I mean, my tail had a tail. I mean, there was something in the darkness. <laughs> the darkness had eyes and they were looking at me. My whiskers trembled, my paws shook. It was an enormous bear. It smelled like the dumpster on a hot day and rumbled louder than the vacuum cleaner. Suddenly it was lights out. Everything went dark and I couldn't move. I was smushed like a muffin between the couch cushions. I was in the middle of a giant bear hug. It was warm, like a bath mat in the sunshine. It smelled like that bath mat needed a bath. There was a low rumble from somewhere in the fur. Oh wait, that was me. <laughs> it turns out big bears like sprinkles too. Light began to nibble at the edges of the window. It was time for naps. Even my shadow was sleepy. I made sure the bears got on their way safely. The sun rose and stretched like a yawn down the alley. The bears rumbled back to the forest. The night shift had ended. My job here was done. So that's it. Another case closed by Muffin. No bears in Little Bear Bakery. Not anymore. <laughs> and that's the end of our story today. And I will see you guys next time on Story Time to Go. Bye. Bye.